a stealth fighter jet has just done something no other in the world has achieved, launching from an aircraft carrier using electromagnetic catapults. China's J-35 has become the first stealth jet to perform this feat aboard the Fujian, a carrier that itself represents a significant leap in naval technology. This isn't just about one launch. It's about proving that an entirely new kind of air wing is possible. The Fujian is not just another carrier. It is China's first fully domestically built supercarrier designed from the keel up to use electromagnetic aircraft launch systems, or EMOLs. That might sound technical, but here's why it matters. Older carriers rely on ski jump ramps to send jets into the air, which limits how heavy they can be at takeoff. Fujian's flat deck and electromagnetic catapults eliminate that restriction, allowing aircraft to launch heavier, farther, and with more flexibility. In September 2025, Chinese state media highlighted a major test at sea. For the first time, Fujian's MALs launched and recovered three distinct types of aircraft. The J-35 Stealth Fighter, the J-15T Heavy Strike Fighter, and the KJ-600 Airborne Early Warning Plane. Each one has different weights, mission profiles, and demands on launch systems. For engineers and planners, the fact that all three completed catapult launches and arrested landings demonstrated the system's versatility. This isn't just about firing jets off a deck. It's about validating that Fujin can support a diverse mix of aircraft, which is the foundation of a credible carrier air wing. Earlier carriers like Liaoning and Shandong had ramps, but those designs couldn't support heavier aircraft like fixed-wing early warning planes. With Fujin, that limitation is no longer in effect. The carrier itself has been steadily advancing through sea trials since May 2024. Engineers have tested propulsion, steering, and onboard systems. The launch footage released in September may actually have been captured earlier, but was only shown publicly once engineers were confident in the results. The milestone proves Fujin is moving from being a ship on paper to a functioning platform. It's a shift from testing systems in isolation to showing the world a coherent launch and recovery capability. And crucially, it means Fujin is now close to operating not just as a ship, but as the centerpiece of a full naval aviation ecosystem. At the center of this breakthrough sits the J-35, China's first true stealth fighter designed for carrier operations. It evolved from the earlier FC-31 prototype, but has been heavily modified for life at sea. Its folding wings allow storage in the tight hangar decks of a carrier, while its reinforced landing gear, catapult launch bar, and tail hook make it compatible with catapult launches and arrested landings. The J-35 is meant to deliver both air superiority and precision strike capabilities. In simpler terms, it is built to protect the fleet from enemy aircraft while also being able to hit targets at sea or on land. By being stealthy, it can slip past radar systems more easily than fourth-generation jets, making it much harder to detect in contested environments. The September tests are significant because the J-35 became the first stealth fighter in the world to be launched from a carrier using an electromagnetic catapult. While the U.S. Navy has already built carriers with MALS technology, such as the Ford class, it has not yet shown the F-35C operating from them in this way. That makes China's J-35 the first to achieve this specific milestone. Why does this matter in practical terms? Because catapult launches allow a jet to take off at maximum fuel and weapons load. A stealth fighter like the J-35 doesn't need to compromise by carrying less fuel to get airborne, which means longer range, more endurance, and more mission flexibility. This transforms what the aircraft can actually do once in the sky. But the J-35 doesn't operate alone. Its integration with other aircraft like the J-15T, which excels in payload and strike missions, creates a complementary pairing. Where the J-15T brings sheer volume and firepower, the J-35 brings stealth and precision. Add the KJ-600 into the mix, a plane designed to act as the eyes of the fleet, detecting threats from far away and coordinating responses, and suddenly you have a layered team. So why does this breakthrough matter beyond the technical achievement? The answer lies in strategy. By proving that Fujin can launch and recover stealth fighters, heavy strike aircraft, and early warning planes, 
China is signaling that it is ready to move toward the concept of a blue water fleet, one that can operate globally, far from its coastline. This is where the idea of the five-piece suite comes in. Analysts often describe a modern carrier air wing as needing five core components. Stealth fighters for strike and air superiority, heavy strike aircraft for payload capacity, electronic warfare planes to disrupt enemy systems, airborne early warning aircraft for detection and coordination, and helicopters for anti-submarine defense. Fujian has now shown it can handle three of these categories. The missing pieces will likely follow, and when they do, Fujian's air wing will be comparable to those on the world's most advanced carriers. Globally, this moment has symbolic importance. The U.S. Navy has unmatched experience in carrier operations, but China has managed to showcase an achievement that even the U.S. hasn't publicized yet, the first stealth fighter launched via EMULS. This doesn't mean China has surpassed decades of U.S. naval aviation expertise, but it does suggest that the gap in certain technologies is narrowing faster than expected. It also sparks questions about how quickly other nations will respond and whether future carrier projects around the world will prioritize electromagnetic launch systems as the new standard for carrier aviation development. There are challenges ahead. Sustaining high-tempo operations at sea is not the same as conducting a demonstration. It requires durability, maintenance cycles, night operations, and performance in bad weather. There are also engineering concerns. Stealth coatings and internal electronics must withstand the intense acceleration of electromagnetic launch systems over and over. These are hurdles that only long-term practice will reveal. For China, mastering these operational details will be as critical as the initial demonstration, since credibility ultimately comes from routine performance, not single-day successes. Still, the lesson is clear. The Fujin and J-35 trials show that China is moving from imitation toward innovation in naval aviation. The achievement is less about beating another country to a milestone and more about demonstrating an ecosystem of systems, ship, aircraft, and technology, all working together. What we've just seen isn't about one jet or even one ship. It's about proving an entire concept. With the J-35 stealth fighter, the J-15T heavy jet, and the KJ-600 early warning plane all flying from Fujin's deck, China has shown it can field the core of a true modern carrier air wing. The message is clear. Naval aviation has entered a new era. And with each successful launch and recovery, Beijing is signaling that its blue water ambitions are no longer theoretical, they're operational. What do you think? Does this mark a turning point in global sea power? Drop your thoughts below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, Share and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.